Sorry, well, I started, I started the thing. Hold on. Uh, you can let them know to play. Just letting you know. You guys, you guys can still chat or not. Alright, they can start. Hold on. It's Squiddy versus Dalton Boosman. Squiddy's a, what's his real name? His real name's like Chauncey Wigglestow. Yeah, Chauncey Wigglestow. I can't even say it. It's like Wigglestow or Wigglestuff. <laughs> Wigglestuff. I'm gonna call it Wigglestuff. <laughs> Wigglestuff. <laughs> Dragons, <laughs> dragons, old. Why does he like? Why does he talk like that though? That's what I want to know. Like, like I don't even get. Like, is it just an excuse to be stupid? Like, but isn't that? That's like going out of your way to like act stupid. Like, well, he drew generic so far. Like, he drew, you know, his solid opening. Yeah, like, <laughs> I could not stand him on Dueling Now right for, for the life of me. I just could not. I know. But then when I went around, I the whole story. Now I'm like, yeah, Yeah, because he's like a normal human being in real life. <laughs> he actually can speak fluently.
Sorry, I had to leave. I had to leave for a second. My mother just missed her flight. Like that's crazy. Like, yeah, my mother just missed her flight. She just called me. They like they don't even want to check her in, and she's an hour earlier to the terminal. Wow. Yeah, she just called me. She's like crying right now. Like it's crazy. Like oh my god. What kind of huh? Uh, no, uh, not me. My dad's over there. It's crazy, bro. Like, alright, so. <laughs> Oh, Squiddy actually actually runs that Gyoku thing. Yeah, I, I think that's kind of gimmicky, honestly. Like, it could just be me. I think it's pretty gimmicky. I don't know. Maybe they don't write down the information spells though. So. I wouldn't run more than I wouldn't run more than one. That's for sure. There's only so much. There's only so many times you can fail or you just never run out of things to search. And that's game one. So Squiddy wins game one. That was an easy game, I guess. I mean, <laughs> he should have accepted the draw. He should. <laughs> I mean, they're they are allowed to intentionally draw. So I mean, which I, I thought was a smart call by Jeff and Jim. Yeah, that, that was a smart call by them. He said ribbed, ribbed. <laughs> So vicious. I think Jeff has him. I mean, I can try and find and pick him up or whatever, but. I think I kind of want to see both of the decklists. I think that'd be really good. Like, I know what Chris Paravic did during his heat when he had people on. Like, they could basically yeah. look at both decklists on the spot and see, like, what they would be citing in and out. Yeah, can you send it to me? Send it to me, or just post No, don't post it in the watcher's chat. Oh, that would be cool. And he opens up Blue Boy again. Well, let me look at his deck list here. Let's see. So, this is Squiddy's deck list. Yes. That's, that's so much hate. That's crazy. I got secrets. I'm trying to, like, switch back between both. Here it's three Valerys. Those, those, that trap lineup's kind of weird, though. Like, honestly, his trap lineup's really weird. Yeah, the, 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 the Tencent and Tenkin are just like really weird. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Like those are just like really like they're kind of unorthodox. Like at a competitive level, you're not gonna really see those too much. I find it interesting that he's also running three Lance, three MSTs. Like that's just really weird. Well, I get that, but like, I feel like it would clog a lot. I mean, he's running a freaking 40 card deck. Like, I mean, there's so many bad openings he could draw. Like, look at his deck list. There's so many cards that just rely on other stuff. Like, you could draw like two Tencent or Tencent Tenkin, Lance, MST, Valor, and like a Wolf Bark or something along that nature. Like, there's so many possible bad openings. I agree, but I guess you could say for that uh, Monster that he played, I guess you got to And he opens Tenkin. The same way, almost the same way he opened last last game, honestly. But I can't lie, the deck has an opening. The only thing that's Uh, he has to have a 
I mean, like, Lancer Space, I mean, he has six cards out of what, out of all those that he draw into. Yeah, he said, my hand was Priestess, Priestess, World Maxi. I was going to skip. This is kind of like that match we, we did earlier with, uh, with Sharpman. He drew really bad as well. He drew, like, the same exact hand. The same thing is, uh, and then, this is what it works. Like, even if they don't do a it's gonna catch up to you though. Like, and, like you lose two rounds just because you drew bad, but that means you have to just like And there's the space. You know, everything else, but that you don't draw bad. Um, that's just I don't like decks like that. I want something that's as consistent as possible. I agree. Oh you are you, you did you did betray dragons. You you went to small books again. said because fiendish reattach man <laughs> it is i mean that is that's a good answer but must rib <laughs> i think i think it gave dalton a bad read honestly like i think he was surprised like not like i don't know if he saw lance game one he didn't see lance game one did he yeah, he didn't see Lance game one, so I mean, he like he might have thought he didn't have it initially. I guess you could say, well, I'm not like, the average attack and the plan instantly, so it doesn't change. You want to make sure the boss goes through. Oh, that's pro. That girl is a spell slash trap. Right, that's how the game, you know, unfortunately, we don't understand. Because I think the average player moves and the It's an unorthodox. It's an unorthodox play. It's an unorthodox play. Yeah. Well, I, I, I think Sway might have. He, had, he, would, he may have another MST or maybe fragrance. He has something just like just not only playing MST on the Venus machine over the land, like it also faded out with all of those bear force. Like that, so that's like, that's pretty huge, yeah. Like. I guess Byron does that. Like Force is a very strong card. Tarantula or not. Yes. Uh, he had the one warning one. Well. I, I was in the one once yesterday, and uh, I was walking around. Yeah, the one of everything. Like, there's so many one ofs now. Compose, boss, yes, trench, yes, like, everything. Like, everything's not one now. Like, it's like cookie cutter. Like, I mean, everything's just cookie cutter spells and traps now.
It's probably gonna stay that way too, honestly. They, they can't stay in the game long enough. Like they have to be able to set up and stay in, the, like establish a good, a, board, a good board. If anything, like they can't really just stay in the game that long. Like right now, he's he's really under pressure. He's so in. Yeah, like that. Like I said, that was what we saw earlier. Get squiddy. <laughs> I use three pot of duality in every deck to minimize that. He <laughs> no, <laughs> Gayoko gives me more power though. <laughs> By 100. He said, You dare? You dare? <laughs> Well, he does, like, he's probably gonna, like, against, like, dragons and stuff, he's obviously gonna keep it in, so I mean, 
gets his it gets his crimson out, so. Yeah, he has the lines, he has to. Cause he cause he knows Boosman's not gonna attack. He's he's not gonna attack in anything. That's why he didn't he just left his priestess there on board. Yeah, this game much like Boosman's playing it correctly, don't get me wrong, but he's not really in a good situation, like regardless. Yeah. Like, it's almost yeah. out of his control. Yeah. Oh, he does run the Tensons too, and the Tenkins. And that's the fact. Two O's, Dalton Boosman, and he says GG. That's crazy. The Scooty wins, hold on, let me pause this. <laughs> 